Today I'm going to give you the word of the Lord for 2024. The word of the Lord for 2024. Last year, or this year actually, so we are still in 2023 for a few more hours. Uh, I told you that 2023 was uh, a baby boy that was uh, uh, on the ground on its back and it was kicking its arm and its legs because it was unable to get up. And I also told you that some people came, the globalist, and picked up the baby in an old English stroller. Some people, two people were in the front of it. The two people held the handle and they were pushing this uh, old English stroller at a, break, uh, a breakneck speed. And there was a force that was propelling them forward. And they were oblivious to the fact that they were, there was a cliff in front of them and that they were going to fall off the cliff. Well, in uh, the word of the Lord for 2024, it's a continuation of what had happened, what started in 2023. So in 2024, the globalists and the people propelling, I mean the force propelling the old English baby carriage that the globalists were pushing, they had gone over the cliff. It's obvious, it's gone over the cliff. There's no going back. In other words, they have gone over the cliff and the baby fell face down. And not The baby was lying face down and they went over there and tightly wound up this baby with an adult black blanket from the neck down so that the baby could not move even if it wanted to, to move itself. But another thing that I saw was that the baby on its face was fast asleep, totally oblivious to what was going on. And uh, that was the first thing that the Lord showed me. Uh, actually, it was the second thing that the Lord showed me. The first thing that the Lord showed me was the devil walking around with a blind man's walking cane. And he's walking around. When I saw it, and I was like, oh my God, I rebuked that, you know. And, um, but he's walking about with a blind man's uh, walking cane. And um, so in 2024, there is going to be an assignment to blind you. I'll give you the interpretation. So that was the second thing that I saw was the devil walking around with a blind man's walking stick. Uh, walking stick. So there will be a spiritual blindness in 2024. It would be gross spiritual blindness in 2024. And another thing that I saw uh, to add to that, there would not only would there be uh, a gross spiritual blindness, there will be a serious warfare. 2024, just know it, is going to be a, a year of war, spiritually and physical. 2024. And uh, it will be a year of wars that principalities are heading. They are the ones heading these wars that are going on in the realm of the spirit. I actually had uh, a principality uh, announced to me coming from the head of, of uh, what he perceived, what I saw to be the head, I will not say, uh, uh, and announced that it was a principality. But the Lord also is on the scene because one of the things that is going on that people don't know, the devil has already, the Antichrist has already launched itself or himself. He's, I saw him, he had, he's heading a, a procession, He's at the top of the procession and a lot of the globalists and the world leaders rallied behind him and they were on this highway and they were the only uh, people on the on the road. Everybody else had, it's, it's like they vacated the, the, the street or the highway and he was really, he's no longer hiding who he is. He's leading the, uh, the charge as they are marching forward and going on to launch their wicked plans. They, there will be a launching of the plans of the evil in 2024. The Antichrist will make his move in 2024. Make no mistake about it. Because he's in this, uh, actually, since the last week, I've seen him just about every night. And he's out on the street. He's out. Even when you call the name of the Lord, he wants to be the one that answers, that responds. You have to tell him to be abased. 
that the gods, it's written the gods that have, uh, that have not made the heavens and the earth, they shall perish from under this heaven, the, the scripture says. Because every time you invoke the name of the Lord, he actually shows his face. He wants to, to be the one uh, uh, that, that answers you, which means he's going to war against people with mind control. Because this man actually is the number one uh, uh, occultic person in the whole world. He will control a lot of people's mind who are not in Christ. If you are in Christ and you have the mind of Christ, you don't have to uh, be afraid. You can always abase him when he stares up, uh, stares up himself uh, in your prayer time or shows up suddenly in front of you spiritually. You can always abase him with the blood of Jesus and in the name of the Lord Jesus because the word of God says, whoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. So you can abase him. And also, uh, uh, the most horrible thing that I saw, and that this kind of made me to be sad for days. Uh, it was like, let me read it the way I saw it so that uh, I don't miss it. I saw men dressed in different business attires. Some with their suit, uh, coat suits on, some have taken off their su uh, su uh, uh, coat, some only had a tie, some had no ties, but they were like the Wall, Wall Street type business people. And uh, what was happening was that they were being forced to move in one direction in an enclosed, you know how when you go to a large office between two buildings, there's usually an enclosed bridgeway that's like, a, it's made of glass, glass enclosed bridgeway uh, overhead glass enclosed uh, uh, bridgeway and these people were being forced they were being heralded uh, one way and they were all looking so disp uh, despondent powerless and uh, hopeless uh, concerning the force that was pushing them it's like it wasn't their choice but they were being forced some people had no strength and but they had to keep moving and because they were being forced to move in that direction. And the Lord made me to understand that these are people you know, who trust in their investment, who trust in their wealth, who trust in what they think the society or the business or the economy is going to do for them. And what has happened is that the blind man's walking cane that the devil put out, they bought into his deception, into his lies. And so they got deceived. By the time they realized what was going on or what is going on it was too late for them they are already trapped in the system so be careful not to make your possession not to make what you own your trust because it will fail you it will utterly fail you you have to put your trust in the lord jesus christ in 2024 because the things that the, uh, the devil is uh, doing a lot of people that will buy into the lies and the deception of 20 of the devil in 2024 by the time they realize that they, are, they have bought into life it will be too late for them they are those that will be going in one direction the way of the antichrist and there is no way for them to turn back now this is the lord's interpretation that i got it said in 19, uh, 2024 the antichrist will make a major move to try and launch his plans worldwide Spiritually, those who buy into his lies will, re uh, will receive his blind king and they will be uh, the walking blind. They will think that they know what they're doing. They will think that the system or whatever is, they are being told is uh, right, but they would have received the baton of the, the devil's walking king. They will, they will be walking about blindly, spiritually, and to what is really true in the, in the society. Because in 2024, truth or what, whatever is real and the truth will be cast to the ground. The truth will be trampled in 2024. Many will abandon the word of God and will not, hear, will not want to hear his word in 2024. And uh, 2024 is a year of lies, deception, misinformation miscommunication you name it the devil is going to package it any which way if you think that uh, there has been deception and mis misinformation and miscommunication in this year and the years uh, before guess what it's going to be uh much much higher 
in 2024, it will be the thing that is the order of the day. Lies and deception will be accepted and whatever is truth or real will be cast out in 2024. And then the baby in the deep slumber, uh, many shall fall. Many shall fall who are not connected to the Lord. Hence the going over the cliff. If you're not connected to the Lord in 2024, you're going to fall because the, the year 2024 is for the year, is for those who are connected to the Lord. So if you're not connected to Him, you're going to fall, you're going to be in a deep slumber. You're going to be spiritually blind and you're going to be thinking that what you're being told is the truth. And by the time you realize that it's not the truth, it would be too late for you because you had you would have invested so much in the system that you can't turn back. So in uh, 2024, make sure that uh, the Lord uh, led me to Daniel chapter 10 verses 9 to 11. It reads, Yet I heard a voice. This is Daniel talking about what he was being showed by the angel Gabriel and uh He's recording of what the man in the white linen uh, came and told them to reveal to him. So he said uh, in uh, verse 9, Yet heard her the voice of his words. And when I heard the voice of his words, there was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face towards the ground. And behold, a hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hand. And he said unto me, Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee I am now sent. When he has spoken these words unto me, I stood trembling. So, you see that 2024 is a year that you're going to need the Lord to help you stand. If the Lord is not helping you stand in 2024, you will fall. If you're not trusting in the Lord in 2024, based on what is coming in 2024, 2024 is not a, 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 a year full of light. It's a dark year. So if, the, if you're not on the Lord's side in 2024, chances are that you will fall. And I say unto you that when you, when you are in deep slumber and your face is to the ground, number one, you are not aware of your surroundings, which is what the devil's uh, 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 blind king will do to those who receive it. You will not be aware of your surroundings. The devil and his demons will ravage you and ravage your home. Many will compromise their faith and run the risk of perishing. And uh, 2024, lawlessness, if you think there's been lawlessness, wait until you see what is happening in 2024. Lawlessness will abound on a greater, greater level because the reprobates are in charge. They are ruling. And justice shall be trampled on that foot and good men shall be persecuted. As they, they, they don't enforce justice, good men will be persecuted and society will descend into irreparable decay. 2024, it's irreparable. The kind of decay that will, will, will come, it's over. It's not going to be repairable. And deception and fear will take hold of very many people. This is why the Lord Jesus said when he, they asked him about these times that we are in, because make no mistake about it, the Antichrist is launching his plans in 2024. And when they asked the Lord about these times, the first thing he said is for us not to be fearful. He said it in Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 and 5. He said, take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. They don't have to come before you and say that I am Christ. Watch their preaching. Watch their teaching. Are they preaching a different Jesus Christ unto you? Are they giving you what does say the word of God or what they want you to hear to fund, I mean, to promote their own agenda? So 2024 is the year that you must hear. And you must hear and relate what you're hearing to the word of God. Because it's only the word of God that can keep you from being deceived from the best of the deceivers that will be on the, on the, on the walkabout in 2024. So, and also, uh, Daniel told us that in the times that we are in, that truth will be cast to the ground, which is what the Lord showed me in uh, Daniel chapter 8, verse 12. He said, 
and he cast down the truth to the ground and he practiced and prospered. What did he practice? Lies. So lies are going to prosper in 2024 because one of the tools of the Antichrist is lies. And trust me, the Antichrist has the power to manipulate, to do mind control. That's where the devil gave him power is to control the mind of those people who buy into his lies, into his deception. But if you are walking and your mind is uh, focused on the Lord and you let the word of God dwell in you richly, as we are told, the word of God will help you to cut asunder that which is of God from that which is not of God, so you are not deceived. Amen? Now I tell you that the devil's plan for 2024, one of the things that was shown to me, was he wants to attack crops. At the root of production, we have people grow crops, he wants, to, uh, he wants to attack them so that there will be a crop failure. Because as so, it's like you look at the stock of corn, only one part of it is green. The rest is, is withered away and is brown. So because he wants to produce world or global famine. And the way he's uh, planning on doing it in 2024 is to attack food production. You know, and people who are blind to the truth are not going to know. So they are going to be taken captive and he's going to tell them that things are getting better. If you, if you listen already, you're being told that things are getting better Why things are actually getting worse. You know, they tell you that everything is looking good, but in your life you know things are looking bad. And you go, your money doesn't go as fast as it used to go, but they tell you you are living in prosperity. So 2023 was a launching pad. So 2024 is gone over the cliff and things are as they, uh, they're going to be, you're going to start seeing the plans of the Antichrist come into fruition. As we prepare to go out of this place, things are going to escalate. The plans of the Antichrist, we see them being implemented. And we, if you're a faithful believer, there is good news. It is time for you, 2024, I tell you, just like Daniel was helped, 2024 is the year that you pray. One of your prayers, Lord, touch me and strengthen me and help me to stand strong and be sober and be vigilant and be alert because the devil is going to put a lot of people who are not sober and vigilant, he's going to put them to sleep in 2024. And when you are asleep, like I told you, you're not aware of your surrounding, meaning spiritual slumber. So this is not the year for you to compromise your prayer time, to compromise or studying the word of God. Be sober, be vigilant, and study to show yourself, as we are told, approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. So, in 2024, if you cannot rightly divide the word of truth, you will be deceived. You have to put the word of God in you and know what God says from what God did not say, and know when God, when a man is twisting the word of God to serve his own purpose, that's meaning the meaning of rightly dividing the word, you can see when somebody is holding true to the spirit of the word and when somebody is taking the word of God and walking it to their own purpose, then you can say no to, to those people. Because in 2024, they are going to be all over. All, the preaching, the preaching that you're going to hear in 2024, only the word of God can help you to discern who is actually telling what thoughts they the Lord from who is being a, a mouthpiece of the devil. So, we we'll say all those things to you. If you're not in the, in the Lord, the doom and gloom is for you. But if you're in the Lord, 2024 is a year that when the, uh, the devil comes against you, the, the Lord said it's actually a year of victory, a year of jubilee. Because one of the things that you're going to see is that there's a, a demarcation or a division or a separation between those who belong to the Lord and those who do, who do not belong to Him. And a lot of things that have been hidden are going to be exposed so that you can see who truly is on the Lord's side from those who are not. And those who say that they belong to Him and they do not. Because one of the things that I saw for us who believe in the Lord, when the Antichrist was marching with his group on the street, here's the little horn, remember. And you remember there's a group of people that say that they want to kill Christians with a very dull knife? Well, the Lord showed me because he, the God recompensed the wickedness of the wicked upon their heads. 
So when the little one, I saw the little one, and I didn't see the angel that was doing it, or if it was God Himself that was doing it, took a very dull soap and slowly, painfully, because the little horn can feel every pain, and was soaring the little horn off. So as far as we believers in Jesus Christ are concerned, the little horn will be cut off in our lives. He cannot rise up against us. Even when he shows up, the man that is the Antichrist, when he showed up, every night when I, when I see him, in fact, just say in the name of the Lord Jesus, he bows. You know, because at the name of Jesus, every name was bowed. So his little horn is cut off in the lives of the believers. So in 2024, you are going to walk in the victory that you you uh, you have not walked in before. And with those that have been afraid and uh, lost hope in 2024, you are going to have your hope restored. You are going to see the awesomeness of your of the power of your God, and you will be encouraged. And as you see victory after the forces of the uh, against the forces of the evil, on and on and on again, then you can stand and say, "My God is truly strong. My God is the greater God. My God is awesome." And you will not be afraid because uh, we are told, just as we are told, rather, in uh, the book of Job 22, verse 29. In 2024, for you believers, it says, When men are cast down, then shall thou say, There is lifting up. So when people are saying that the times are hard, in other words, and things are very bad, you are going to be singing, Hallelujah. Jubilee, because 2024 for the believer is a year of victory, it's a year of jubilee, only if you are attached to the, uh, the, the true vine as a branch that has not been broken off and as a fruitful branch. You cannot be afford to be a Christian in name only, and then the Lord looks at you and go like, I don't know this one. They don't come to me. They have nothing, uh, they have nothing of me in their life. They live their life on their own terms. And you don't want to be that in 2024. You will be taken captive because the power again of the spirit of Antichrist is mind control. He has a mind binding uh, spirit because I say again, he is the head of the occult, world head of the occult all over the world. You know, they all bow to his uh, agenda. And I say uh, in 2024, many Christians, many believers, are going to be seeing the back of the, 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 the forces and the things that have been coming against them. God has made it that in 2024, you're going to see the back of the enemy where you have been seeing him coming against you, his, uh, his front or his face. 2024, you will see him hightailing out of your life because of the victory that the Lord has given us. And um, very good news for us believers. This is awesome. This means that we are now ready to be raptured out of fear. As the devil is launching his own things, God also is launching his own plans. One of the things that I saw that is very glorious, I'll read it first to you. It's in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. Awesome, awesome. He taught this is about the church what God wants from us. He says, till we all come, meaning the church, till we all come to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man and the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by sleep of men, and cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to deceive. What does that mean? I tell you. In 1992, I got saved seven months later. Uh, I was attacked. But uh, before I was attacked, I had a dream in which uh, I saw, because I was seven months in the Lord, and this, I saw the Antichrist. And wearing his state coronation robe and he gave the order that i should be killed and i remember looking at him as he gave the order that i should be killed and all of a sudden this thing came and just kind of basically squashed me to nothing and 
Then the Lord appeared. When the Lord appeared, it was amazing that then the Antichrist fell backward because of the brightness of the Lord uh, appearance and he fell backward. Then I was crushed and with my last breath, I said, Jesus. And as I said, Jesus, this huge, you know, like I just read to you, it says, until we all come to the unity of faith, to the, uh, to the knowledge of God, unto the perfect man, to the knowledge of the Son of God, unto the, the measure of the, uh, the stature of the fullness of Christ. This thing stood up and I heard the measure of the uh, stature of the fullness of Christ. And he stood up. I mean, the Lord Jesus stood up like a mighty giant warrior. And I remember looking, going like, okay, so now Jesus, because I didn't know any scripture much yet. I said, okay, so now Jesus has arisen in my place. And so where am I? Because I didn't know yet that we are in Christ. You know, so I, I kind of woke up thinking what has happened to me because I got squashed and this measure of the fullness of the stature of Christ rose up. Well, two weeks ago, I see the full measure of the stature of, the, uh, of Christ rise up again like I saw him in 1992 when I got saved. This time, not only did he rise up, he rose up and he left so and the lord made me to understand that his church is mature do not let anybody deceive you about the, the state of god's church in god's eye his church is now mature his church is ready to be out of here we have come to the full measure to the knowledge of the son of god to the, unto the perfect man, unto the measure and stature of the fullness of Christ. That's how God sees us right now. That's why he's taking us out of here. Because the coming to the unity of faith doesn't mean that all the uh, denominations that decided to derail themselves will have to go unite with them. God is looking at his church in the hearts of men. In his church are those that believe in him, that have allowed him to raise them up, that has allowed him to unite them with himself, that are now mature and they are no longer tossed to and fro with uh, false doctrines. And those are the ones that he's taking out of here. And believe me, it's happened already in the realm of the spirit. God now sees his church as a mature church. We are standing before him, holy, un uh, unblameable, unreprovable in his sight. We are ready to be taken out of here, in other words. So this is good news for us who believe in the Lord Jesus because in 2024, the world is derailed. If you're looking for things as they used to be, it would never happen again. Things, they've gone over the cliff. Those who think that they are controlling the world, that they can actually uh, uh, do all the things that they're trying to do, they've pushed it over the brink, in other words. So now, God will take away his church and then they will have seven years. They will have seven years to experience what a unity with the devil produces on earth. And they will cry to be taken out and they will not be able because God will let them uh, taste the fullness of what they desire. Because let, for those of you, as I wrote before, that, think, that used to think, why would God allow the Antichrist to reign? Well, God gives to every single people or person what they want. There are some people that don't want God. They don't want to have anything to do with God. So by default, they belong to the devil. So God is going to let the devil lord it over them for seven years so that they can see what the devil that they chose has to offer them. Seven years tribulation is not about the devil. It's just it's about those who chose him. God honors the will of man. So those who chose the devil are the ones driving the rise of the Antichrist because they want the devil. So God will let them have it for seven years, in other words. So now, beware, as I said before, especially uh, social media videos in 2024, please review every sermon that you hear and make sure that you're judging it with the word of God. 
because a lot of the instruments of the devil will be put forward as a sheep in wolf's clothing. They pretend to be ministers of God, but what they are preaching is really meant to make you derail. It's really meant to deceive you, and it's really meant to put the devil's blind, blind cane in your hand so that you can be deceived. So don't listen to everything that you hear, that anything that doesn't confirm uh, or conform to the word of God, say no to it. Just reject it in the name of the Lord Jesus. And in 2024, please, please, do not lean to your own understanding. 2024 is the, the year that you hear something. Be like the, 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 the people in the Bible, in the Thessalonica, when they hear something, they go to check it out in the Bible to see if it is so. Don't go, don't for this year to stop following your pastor, stop following man, stop following celebrities. Make sure that Jesus Christ is your focus in 2024. And no matter what is going on in 2024, please do not fear because our God is great. Do not get discouraged. Now, if that, after hearing all this and you go like, okay, how do I get to uh, belong to the Lord Jesus so I can be on, uh, in his camp in 2024? Because in 2024, you're going to see two camps, the devil's camp and the Lord's camp. And if you belong in the Lord's camp, you have hope. If you are in the other camp, you are going to be hopeless. So, uh, to belong to the Lord Jesus is very easy. So, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sins on the cross. And on, you were buried. And on the third day, God the Father raised you from the dead. And I come to you now, Lord. And I ask that you forgive me all my sins. And I ask, oh God, that you uh, baptize me with the Holy Spirit. For I repent of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me a child of God by giving me your Holy Spirit to keep me and to teach me your word. Make me rapture ready in Jesus' name. If you do this, you'll be a child of God because I'm telling you, 2024, if you think, don't get discouraged that rapture didn't happen in this for a lot of the things that need to happen before the liftoff is manifested, they need to take place between now. And everything that needs to take place will take place. And 2024 is a game changer. Amen.